Hello friends, welcome to my class. Uh, now I am going to give you a very important questions of applied physics for the first year B.Tech. Okay, if you see the syllabus of the applied physics, that is AP, and there is uh, unit one is there, that is quantum mechanics. Unit two is semiconductor physics. Unit three is optoelectronics. Unit four is laser and fiber optics. Unit five is electromagnetic induction and magnetic properties of materials this is the syllabus of applied physics according to r18 r18 nothing but regulation 18 so for every regulation the syllabus will be changes that we have to note it down okay if you see the exam pattern or paper pattern so there are 75 marks will be there so external exam will be conducted for 75 marks like we say that semester semester one two three etc okay and remaining uh, internal will be conductor for 25 marks internal will be conductor for 25 marks okay that we know mid one mid two and assignments total 100 marks if you see the uh, paper pattern okay question paper there is a first bit and second bit will be there okay uh, in first bit total 10 question will be asked in the form of a b c d e f g h i like that okay 10 question will be there so two questions will be asked from the uh, every unit there are five units are there five to the 10 questions okay and uh, the question is carries for two marks or three marks two marks three marks that depends on the content of the question or uh, okay what it may be so if you see the total marks in the first bit there are 25 marks will be there if all the questions carries for two marks 10 to the 20 only but some of the questions may be carries for three marks so that we need to take here 25 marks okay if you see the second bit uh, there are uh, five question will be asked okay from the every one unit okay if you see the unit one okay from unit one two question will be asked a b is a one one question and c d is a one more question okay there is an option will be there we need to uh, attempt any one of the question if a is a question and b might be a problem or a short question okay like that we need to follow the every question okay there are five questions will be there five tens are 50 marks then 50 plus 25 75 marks will be uh, there for the externals remaining 25 from the internals okay now let us see a very important question from the every units okay if you see the first unit that is quantum mechanics the first question is explain the black body radiation and derive the Planck's law of radiation this is how we uh, the question may be asked in the examination or in the semester which carries for six marks so second one is second question is Compton effect or Compton shift okay this is very very important we can put uh, uh, three stars or four stars like that so which is very very important question it uh, it was asked many times in the previous exams okay third one is explain davison and germer experiment davison and germer's experiment and uh, explain the procedure for normal in incident okay incidents that we can write it as okay this is a question may be asked in that way and fourth one is state and explain heisenberg uncertainty principle okay this is a way of question may be asked in the examination carries for six marks awarded for six marks and fifth question is derive Schrodinger's time independent wave equation okay this is very very important we can uh, keep uh, two or three stars carries for six marks now discuss the theory of particles in a potential box then explain the result okay this is how the question may be asked in this way okay so this question also depends on the time independent wave equations okay schrodinger's time independent wave equation one dimensional potential box particles in a one dimensional potential box okay and uh, uh, we have to go through the some more short questions which were asked in the position of the B or D what it may be okay uh, right now if you see the second unit semiconductor physics 
ओके फर्स्ट वन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन द फेर्मी एनर्जी एंड फेर्मी लेवल शो दट द वेरिएशन ऑफ फेर्मी फंक्शन विद एनर्जी एट जीरो कैलविन एंड एट ए हई टेमपरेचर दिस इज द वे ऑफ आस्किंग ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इन द एक्सामेशन ओके एंड सेकेंड वन इज यूजिंग फेर्मी डिराक प्राबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन डिराव द पोजिशन ऑफ दि डिराव द पोजिशन ऑफ दि Fermi level in a intrinsic semiconductors. Okay, these two are very important questions. Carries for six marks. And third one is explain carrier generation and recombination. Okay, this is a, a concept to understand the semiconductor physics. Okay, so it is also asked for the six marks. Sometimes may be asked for four marks. Now let us see. The fourth question is. all effect okay hall effect which is very very important we can also uh, keep three or four stars all coefficient and all voltages and applications okay so the way of asking the question may be different but the words or content is same okay define the hall effect and reduce the expression for the all coefficient and hall voltages and write some applications this is a way of asking the question so we need to understand carries for uh, six marks explain gnr diode and uh, its iv characteristics we have to explain the gnr diode and iv current voltage characteristics carries for six marks and uh, discuss the bjt with the construction and the principle of operation bjt nothing but what bipolar junction transistor we need to explain uh, with construction and we need to explain the principle and we need to explain the operation of working okay and uh, along with them we need to go through the some short questions also okay now third unit is opto electronics okay so this is the opto electronics the opto electronics is small branch of semiconductor physics okay so that we are going to see okay explain recombination mechanism in a semiconductors this is a question okay which may be asked in the examination carries for 6 marks okay and the uh, second question is what is the led led discuss characteristics and principles okay this is very very important it is asked for many times in the examination carries for 6 marks and third one is explain semiconductor laser diode with characteristics and principles and working it is also very important question and fourth question is explain solar cell its principle characteristics and working it is also very very important and uh, fifth question is explain pin diode p i n pin this is what okay this is p nothing but what p type semiconductor intrinsic semiconductor and n type semiconductors pin diode in detail okay so that working construction okay characteristic everything we need to explain in this question okay and uh, sixth one is explain avalanche photodiode in detail this is the questions may be asked for the examination from the apt electronics along with them we need to go through the some short questions or short answers and uh, let us see the fourth unit lasers and fiber optics so there are very a gun shot question will be there that we need to read it that's enough there is a ruby laser carbon dioxide laser and helium neon lasers if you go through these three questions compulsory we will get a maximum marks the way of asking the question like this explain the operation of ruby laser with a neat label diagram and second one is what is laser give the construction and working of carbon dioxide laser device and third one is explain the construction and working of helium neon laser with the neat label diagrams okay so these three questions carries for six marks okay every question carries for six marks fourth question is discuss the application of lasers okay just we need to discuss the application of lasers fifth question is with help of the suitable diagram explain the construction and working of a optical fiber okay from these questions there is a second half of the 
a laser and fiber optics if the laser and fiber optic uh, unit divides into two parts first part is lasers and second part is uh, fiber optics okay from first part the question will be there and from the second part okay some question will be asked right now let us see uh, sixth question define the terms acceptance angle acceptance score and numerical aperture these are also very important it is asked for many times discuss types of optical fibers and modes of propagation using suitable diagram it is also very important uh, eighth one is which are fiber lasers which are fiber losses discuss in detail or in brief so that we are the uh, questions some important questions from the laser and fiber optics along with them we need to go through the some short questions okay to attempt the a and b in every unit there is a a and b question will be there okay we need to go through the a and b questions and if you see fifth unit that is last unit uh, electromagnetic induction and magnetic properties of materials it is a very large unit uh, many question will be there so i just uh, uh, giving a very important questions once you see it explain electric current and continuity equation we need to explain the what is electric current and continuity equation carries for 6 marks which is very very important and the uh, second one is state and explain maxwell's equations this is also very important explain different types of polarization in dielectric materials it is also important explain internal field or local field and uh, derive its expression derive its expression this is also very very important derive clausius mosotti equation this is very very important asked for many times define the terms ferroelectronics and uh, piezoelectronics this is very very important asked for many times seventh one is classify magnetic materials okay just uh, we uh, we need to explain the types of the magnetic materials there are diamagnetic paramagnetic and ferromagnetic materials define permeability and susceptibility just we have to define the permeability and susceptibility along with them we need to explain the properties or characteristics of this permeability and susceptibility so these are the a few very important questions which already asked in the previous examinations so okay i have searched many uh, previous question papers according to r18 r16 r15 okay so then i am giving this very important questions to gain the good marks in your examinations okay thank you for watching this video so please subscribe my channel for the more updates thank you